The second method for determining the Thevenin equivalent impedance involves calculating the short circuit current that would flow, or the current that would flow if you were to apply a short circuit between the terminals, and then Z Thevenin is equal to the open circuit voltage divided by the short circuit current. We've already determined the open circuit voltage. In our previous video, we found that the open circuit voltage was equal to 6.25 angle 51.34. So now we simply need to calculate the short circuit current and then find the Thevenin impedance by taking the ratio of those two. This method works anytime you have at least one independent source, either an independent voltage source or an independent current source. Then whether you have dependent sources or not, the short circuit current method will work. You'll recall that the equivalent impedance method that we showed in the previous example only worked if you had independent sources or no sources. That previous method did not work if you had dependent sources. This method will work with dependent sources as long as you have at least one independent source also. All right, what will our approach be? Well, we need to find the current flowing through here. In this circuit, the current, the short circuit current is going to be the current flowing through this J50 ohm inductor. Now, the current flowing through that J50 ohm inductor will be the voltage at this point divided by the J50. So let's call that voltage there. Let's call that V1. And we can then say that I short circuit is equal to V1 divided by J50. So our problem now becomes determining what V1 is. Well, again, in this circuit, this inductor has been brought into parallel with this 20 ohm resistor. And if we combine those two in parallel, we will have, in fact, let's just do that first, Z parallel is equal to 20 times J50 divided by 20 plus J50. And that turns out being 17.24 plus J6.9. So this circuit then reduces down to our source here of 10 angle 0 the minus J25 capacitor. And then we've got this equivalent parallel impedance, Zp, and V1, the voltage that we're looking for, is that voltage there. So these two are in, se are in series with each other, so we can get V1 using a voltage divider. V1 then is equal to 10 times Zp, which is 17.24 plus J6.9 divided by the sum of those two, 17.24 plus J6.9 minus J25. And V1, it turns out, is then equal to 7.43 angle 68.2. All righty, that's V1. We need I short circuit. I short circuit is V1 divided by J50, or I short circuit is equal to 7.43 angle 68.2 divided by J50, and that equals um, 0.149 angle negative 21.8. Finally, we've got the short circuit current, so we can find Z Thevenin by taking the open circuit voltage of 6.25 angle 51.34 and dividing by the short circuit current of 0.149 angle negative 21.8, and that gives us the same impedance that we found in the previous method of 12.2 plus J40.2 ohms.